step by step class 1 page number 5 look at the given pictures draw and color any one of these objects let us draw a fridge let's draw a rectangle vertical one Did a rectangle. Below this, there is one more rectangle. These are width of two rectangles. I am going to draw a second rectangle below this one, which is in flat shape. Straight to this, you join this. Straight to this line, you join these two lines. Now inside here, yeah, there are stands legs for the fridge here a line straight to this here a line and bit width here a line here a line and join it now just come this side here a line straight to this one more line. give equal gap as this one one more and one more here and a small vertical rectangle third one you can use a scale or you can directly draw with the test scale you can use a scale or you can draw without a scale now draw a ground line as I told you in previous class it's always better to draw a ground line so that it gives a good impression that it's placed on some surface. I'm going to outline with gel pen. I can use a sketch pen. If you try to draw on pencil lines with gel pen, it may not come easily. Start coloring with oil pastels. Let's start with green color. Let's fill this small wet color rectangle. Now take yellow color, fill it as I told you, just fill it with vertical direction up and down, fill near the lines carefully without going out of the line now at the top always try to draw big in size and color it without gaps Using it round direction, so color will fill nicely without gaps. Wow, you can see that mixing of green color.
What's your choice? Brown or a local brown? This color with brown color. Fill it carefully. Near the lines always use left right direction or up and down direction. So this is this horizontal line, sleeping line so used left right direction. Now this is the vertical line. I am using it in up, up and down direction. Again. Here it is left right direction. Now you can fill it randomly in the middle with round direction or with small strokes. Let us color the background. I'm going to take a pink color for flat coloring. There's a piece of pink color. You can use it in flat coloring Let's take a grey color Grey Don't let your backgrounds dominate this picture. So color whatever the colors you use light colors and color a bit lightly then the object coloring. That's it from page number 5, the fridge with a rectangle. 